Newcastle are signing Sandro Tsinali, Ilkay Gundogan joins Barca, and Arsenal will pay huge money for Kai Havertz. Hi everyone, this is Tribuna and the latest Premier League news. Newcastle United are closing in on the signing of AC Milan midfielder Sandro Tonali for around 70 million euros. The Athletic claims that Newcastle initially offered 50 million euros, but then increased it to convince the Italian side. If Tonali comes for this price, it would match the record amount Newcastle paid to sign Alexander Isaac last year. Tonali is one of Italy's most talented midfielders. 23 years of age, He's made 130 appearances for Milan and 14 for Italy. But not everybody is equally pleased with the transfer. Milan fans aside, some see it as a menace to the integrity of football. For example, Marco writer Chris Vonterburn argues, I warned you all, watch when they end the summer with Neymar and others and I'll still get people defending state ownership of clubs. Bernardo Silva appears to be next in line for a Saudi Arabia move. The Portuguese was linked to Barcelona and Paris Saint-Germain, but, according to Marco, he will go to Saudi Arabia. It's not even specified to which club, because who even cares? Jamie Carragher is sick to see this happen, as he ranted on Twitter. Bernardo Silva is in his peak years and has been one of the best players in Europe for the last five years. I wasn't worried about the Saudi league taking place in the 30s, a touch worried with players below the elite, but if this happens, it feels like a game-changer. The sports washing needs to be stopped. Carragher also tagged the Premier League and UEFA on Twitter, but it's not obvious what those bodies could do about it. Carragher is not the first to raise concerns about all those transfers. His Sky Sports buddy Gary Neville demands a transfer embargo on all moves to Saudi Arabia. Gary Neville wants transfer embargo on all transfers to Saudi Arabia also demanded an investigation into Chelsea ownership structure, Gary told BBC Sport. The Premier League should put an instant embargo on transfers to Saudi Arabia to ensure the integrity of the game. Checks should be made on the appropriateness of the transactions. If it comes through that process, obviously transfers could open up again. But I do believe, at this moment, transfers should be halted until you look into the ownership structure at Chelsea. Neville is most anxious about Chelsea, whose players are transferring to Saudi Arabia at a crazy rate. N'Golo Kante has left, Hakim Ziyech, Khalidou Koulibaly and Eduard Mendy are next in line. Pierre-Emery Aubameyang, Romelu Lukaku and even Callum hudson Adoy have reportedly received offers too. While Gary Neville complains about Saudi Arabia spending, maybe he should rep at Arsenal instead. According to Fabrizio Romano, the Gunners will sign Kai Havertz for £65 million. Pounds. It's quite bizarre given Kai's performance last season. Three years ago, Havertz joined Chelsea for about the same money, and while he scored the winning goal in the Champions League final, he hasn't fully met the high expectations placed on him. At first, Arsenal fans were confused, but it seems like they've come to terms with the new signing because the head coach knows better, and there's no reason not to trust Mikel Ateta. Ilkay Gundogan is set to become a Barcelona player. Brizzo Romano has called it a done deal, as only the final approval to register the player is needed. The German midfielder joins on a two-year deal with an option of a further year. The official announcement is coming soon. It's hard to replace Gundogan, but Man City will have to try. They have all but signed Mateo Kovacic from Chelsea, and Declan Rice may be next. They are ready to challenge Arsenal for Rice, and could offer Calvin Phillips in a play exchange. And according to ESPN, the Hamas are interested. Saudi Arabian clubs have already signed European stars such as Karim Benzema and Golo Kante. Now they openly say they want to sign Mo Salah. A Saudi Pro League official said, We are only beginning. The passion for football here has no limits. We must also start working on the signing of Mo Salah, since he is so popular in the Arab world and in Europe. I think Salah still has records to break with Liverpool, so I hope that if he doesn't come now, he will in the future. And quite a few Liverpool fans want it to happen now. Salah is 31 years old and only has two years left on his deal. Some compare it to the sale of Felipe Coutinho, which helped Liverpool rebuild by buying Virgil van Dijk and Alisson. Others point to the age of Mo Salah and those fantastic players Liverpool could sign 
with the seller money. So what do you think of these stories? Leave your comment below or go to tribuna.com and discuss them all with thousands of fans of your favorite team. Like and subscribe, stay tuned for more.